Spears Computer World with a look at the PhotoJet des graphic designer review. This is the premium version of the online graphic designer. So what I'll do is just jump right in. You've probably seen this on my previous reviews where we reviewed PhotoJet for PC, Windows PC. Then we did the review for the free version of the PhotoJet graphic designer online. Now I'm just kind of showing you what you'll get with the actual graphic designer premium. So let's go to design. On the design design screen, you'll see a familiar interface. One thing I just want to point out that's different from the free version is the custom size. If you try to create a custom size on the free version, you'll get a pop-up that will recommend various plans that you can buy to unlock the premium version. But since I have the premium version unlocked, you'll have access to different presets. So if you have a mobile phone, a banner, or desktop publishing, banner that you want to create you'll be able to do that if you have something for a blog graphic you'll be able to select that uh, for a Facebook ad for a business card logo album cover so you have uh, quite a few options to get you uh, where you need to go as far as as far as customizing the size so I'm just gonna go with mobile phone and hit apply and so as you can see you have you see the dimensions here for the mobile phone banner and I can add a picture here like I would on the free version and there you go One thing that I'll point out is that you'll be able to get a lot more out of this. I'm going to go right back to some of the premium banners. And what I mean by that is this. You'll be able to select the template like this. And then you'll notice here one of the premium banners that you have here with the crown and so you have a lot more options as far as what you can select with and what you can do If you want to add a photo, just like the free version, you have access to over close to almost 600,000 images from Pixabay. Or you can link import photos from Facebook, customize text. The premium version gives you more options as far as the type of text that you can use to put on a banner or a flyer. You have clip art, which you're also able to do a search for over 93,000 clip arts from online. Some premium backgrounds if you want to kind of change things up that way. Next I'll look at the collage designer. So for those of you who still love to use your laptop desktop to create, uh, you'll be very fascinated with what this has to offer. We'll go with the photo card. And then we'll check, uh, we'll just do this banner. And so you'll be able to just to kind of put your own pictures here. Um, one from a stock image. However you, whatever you desire. One thing I love about the software is it does not distort the actual image. The image stays. Let's see, I'll bring it forward. The image stays very clear. There's no distortion there. It's one thing I like about it. I'm 
I was really hoping to get that behind there, but you get the gist of it. So you're able to do the same thing that you can in design mode. Now, one of my favorites is I know we have Instagram. I know we have uh, various types of apps on our phone. So we're always on the go. But one thing I do love is being able to edit photos and PhotoJet offers that as well. Presets, filters that you'll be able to apply. And this is where you tweak your settings. And I think I may have messed something up. But I will mention the premium settings for advanced. You're able to go in and sharpen. Dehaze. This is where I was. So you can go in and check out the sensitivity there. Or desensit or sensitivity. Or intensity, excuse me. I kind of like that. Then you can hit apply. Able to change the intensity of any noise in the photo. Gives it a type of grainy effect, so you can apply that. Then color splash. Before I even use it, I'm going to assume that you can add color to portions of the picture that you want to. And that's exactly what it is. You can change your brush size to get more detail, the intensity of that color splash. So if you want it kind of faint, you can do that. But I like it there. You can just go in and kind of brush. I would recommend kind of going down on your uh, your brush size anyway. Just so you can get everything. Hopefully I'm able to brush everything and not leave anything undone. Close enough for me if that's close enough for you. And let's cancel. Now look at this. I'm going to cancel. And the original image. So not bad. Then selective filter. I'm guessing I can go here and select what I want to filter out. Maybe put a picture of a, a loved one that may have passed away there. And then shadows. So I'm going to cancel. We'll go with this vignette. And I could be uh, pronouncing that incorrectly, so feel free to correct me in the comments. And finally, sharpen. You can also increase, decrease clarity as well. If you want to, you know, apply a little black and white filter effects. Black and white preset itself has, or effect has, five different types of black and white. Same thing with the other type of filters available. So if you really want to take the time to, you know, make some edits in PhotoJet, then send it to your Instagram. You can save it as a JPEG or PNG. You can also share it on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, Tumblr. I would love to see an Instagram share feature. And if you have your printer, maybe you want to print this on some special paper, you'll be able to do that as well. You can open um, photos from your computer or Facebook. And then if you need a quick start, on what it is you need to do, you can also go there as far as adding overlays and other things that you saw there. So I'm going to take you back to the front and conclude with the PhotoJet designer. Some of the things that you're able to do with the premium is you'll have access to newer uh, premium features, uh, collages, designs, banners, um, as far as being able to um, you know, save your designs, you're able to do that in the free. So you're wondering, okay, what's the difference between the free and paid version? Well, the paid version gives you the ability to do custom sizes.
you're able to load a project, you know, from your computer, uh, something you may have uh, already saved as a .jet file. It gives you, like I said earlier, the customize of the size. And then once you get that design, you have more options to choose from with premium versions to design, whether you're designing a card, whether you're designing a collage or editing a picture. So this is Spears Computer World with a look at the PhotoJet Online Graphic Designer Premium Edition. So if you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments. Spears Computer World signing out.